Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Open TTD. The last we left up, we built the line to the woods here and connected it up to the sawmill over here. And to start off, what we will do is connect these woods over here to the sawmill all the way over here. So let's get at it. Take another to platform station let's use our quite standard uh, station design which loops around and ends up in a two lane kind of intersection over here let's extend it well, to about over here. Let's see, this is the line coming in. So, at some point, we will want to connect. Um, right, let's get like this. So this is the line coming in, so we want that to connect up to this one and to this one for good measure. And with this it's the other way around, so this should work as an intersection. And let's make sure we have the right signal selected. And let's just manually put in some... Uh, extra stops over here let's make sure there is a stop over here and some over here that face the right way of course let's see yes this should work we can create another train from this train depot over here Get a new vehicle. One of these will be just fine. Let's get some wood trucks behind there. Let's see what a total length of four. And go to the woods over here and then back to the sawmill. Fully load any cargo and unload everything while don't taking anything with you. There we go. That's train number eight done. Let's see if they actually come out. There we go. Now what we might consider is starting to uh, uh, take a look at some of the busier intersections like over here that might cause delays for uh, other trains and start to kind of optimize them in a way that uh, these trains no longer have to cross the rails or anything like that but uh, use bridges and tunnels to make the intersections better Yeah, so a lot of trains, I think four or five trains will actually uh, go to this station and leave it by ways of there. So what I propose we do is, mm, it doesn't fit, it just doesn't fit, uh, can always go from here, yes. Let it come all the way over here. And then create a tunnel. By getting groovy with the landscape. Uh, I think like this and go like this. Then we want it to come up on the other side. So... Do 
this way. Wait, are there actually... No, that's going to the depot, right? Yes, it's going to the depot. Now, I was worried for a second that there were actually trains from here that... Oh, yes, please. That were going the other way, but no, there actually aren't. So we'll make it come up over here. And with a U-turn, make it connect up over here. So, I wonder if left to their own devices, will will these trains, these coal trains, actually take the other way out, our way, or will they take this way? Hmm, interesting. They will actually take our way, so for now I'm going to leave this in just so that if this way a uh, road is unavailable for, well, any reason, there is a secondary way for them. Right, so this one can't go here because there's a train on the track and it, or is it going to the depot? No, it's going for the power plant, so... But no, it's going for the depot, right? Why can this train go? For some reason. Because it was waiting for a free path over here. There are no signals in between here. Hmm. So if a train has to make this turn, there is a very long way between these two signals and trains have to wait quite a long time. That's a little bit worrying. We should try and fix that. Now we can of course make this tunnel double wide and let it come up over here. and make this out path come up on the other side so these trains don't actually have to cross here and we can now that we we'll still have this in the way i think the best way is just to delete this actual intersection why are all these trains going to this train depot and not to this one? It's really annoying. Maybe we can fix that by actually uh, just deleting this extra... ...piece of track that we don't need anymore. So now the trains coming out of this station can only go through the tunnel, which takes them a little bit longer because they have to climb up the hill. But in the end it uh, causes much less of a strain on our intersection over here. Because most of these trains have to turn right. And they can, this way. But, to make it an even better intersection, we can always do something like this, like this. And go like this, and then delete these. Now we have to... Uh, change the signals around a little bit over here, of course, make these over here and these over here, let's delete this signal, yes, this signal, and no, not add one over here, 
this will screw up. Uh, yes, it's this one over here. Yes, this should work. But they will still go to this service station. This is quite annoying. Because it's closest by. I guess we could just uh, add one over here. There we go. Just add a train depot so they can immediately enter and leave. Well, coming out of the station that way, we eliminate the need for them to uh, turn around and go over here. Wow, it's barely coming up the hill. How fast is it going? 27. I might have to consider some more powerful trains. Well, in the future trains will be more powerful anyway. We'll get a... Uh, uh, once time ticks on, a uh, new train engines will be discovered. So we just got uh, a new one. We accepted to test it. It was the, the SH-8P, which has 600 more horsepower than the chain the Jubilee, which we are using at the moment. It is a lot more expensive though. But once, uh, once these locomotives get old, because they get old and their reliability goes down, I think our, let's see, our first train, which is train one, is uh, four years of age. So once they turn about 20, we will need to replace them, and probably we will uh, earlier, because uh, once diesel trains kick in, we get just so much better trains. They have a lot of power. These are still all steam trains. But uh, the new diesel trains we will get uh, in the future will just steam up hills, no problem. So we uh, built this nice little intersection over here. And you know what, I think this will also be quite a nice place for us to uh, get our company headquarters going. So the company headquarters will uh, will be a little building in the game that grows once the value of our company uh, raises, rises. Uh, what I'd like to do is... let's stop this train for a moment. Let's delete some of the track over here, which will cause chaos. Because you'll see why in a moment. Let's go like this. And like this. And now... Yes, yes, yes. You can go again. Ta-da, we have a little hill with some nice tunnels going through which is a very pretty place for us to go like this build our company headquarters which is still just a little shack with some uh, fencing uh. <laughs> but in the future it will be huge it will be a, a skyscraper type building and we will uh, watch it grow and there will be trains going underneath it which will look pretty. Uh, I just noticed that the signs over here aren't right because there's a sign over here and if our trains uh, stop for this sign because there's no free road then it blocks these trains from leaving and if you if you put your signs in a way that uh, trains can block other signs Basically what can happen is that you get blockages uh, caused by trains themselves so that they kind of uh, go round and round till they block each other. Like for example, uh, you would get uh, some trains over here stuck because they want to turn into the station, uh, but the trains over here 
can't leave the station because there is a, a row in front of the station uh, for the trains to get in. So the trains get themselves stuck and when you space your signals out uh, in, a, in the right way, you can prevent that. Now we can have a signal over here. And let's get rid of this one. Right, could we get another signal in here? I think we could, like this. Yes. Way uh, the traffic flows a little bit better. Let's see how our buses are doing. Do we have a... We probably have a... Abysmal... No, we have a pretty good... Uh... A good rating with the local authorities and over here excellent as well wow i did not expect that i think we don't yeah we have a very poor passenger rating but apparently the government of trivorden still likes us now let's see uh how is this doing oh we could use another train over there uh I f let's just. Why is there a coal train going into the transferium? That's worrying. Well, anyway, uh, let's first get this train. Let's go to the depot. Let's clone the train and let's clone train eight. There we go. Do have the same orders as train 7. So, what was the train doing? Why was it going through a station? And... Accepts nothing. This can be true. Did I build the station too far from the actual... Uh, I did. Well, luckily there's a trick for that. Just get a one long station. How? It overlaps almost completely and... Stupid lo game logic. Well, anyway, uh, you get another station like a uh, lorry station and you put it over here while shift uh, it was either I think it was shift clicking no it is control clicking yes and you can join the station to there and now these are considered part of the same stations even though they're not adjacent and that greatly increases The, uh, what you call it, the, the reach of the station. So now it should be able to take wood. Let's wait for a moment till the first wood train arrives. Ooh, that might take a while. In the meantime, this uh, intersection is working brilliantly. Oh, there we go. Now it shouldn't give us money for transferring, but give us money for actually transporting it, which is a lot more money. So we got 12,000 guilders before, and now we get 49,000. Yes, now it's working as intended. Lucky me. Well, anyway. Thank you all for watching another episode of Open TTD. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.